Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese and welcome to this episode of the Ellison Education Video Series. You know, if there's a little breeze in the air, it is the perfect time to make a mobile. And I have several on the table, but I want to start by showing you the Butterfly Mobile. It is so much fun to make, said this little guy, and the kids will like decorating the butterflies. But when you die cut all the parts and pieces, it's surprisingly simple to assemble. I started with the butterfly die, and it's helpful because it has three different shaped butterflies on there, and you just need a pair of butterflies for each one because I'm going to sandwich thread in the middle, which is how they're going to hang from the spiral. Now, by that, I have two of the gold, and because some of my design is going to be punched out and I want another color to show through, for this one I'm actually going to have a third one as well. So a matching pair, and for this example, even a separate one. I'm going to take a marker and I'll use it to add some decoration, just to add some shading. Your kids can do this with crayons. They can go back and color in. I mean, the fun part is that this is where they do whatever they want to do. It's really them having fun decorating. And then I thought I'd show you, it's really simple to take a couple of different punches and punch different size circles out. You would normally go back, you might even add, for the body, you could add, you know, stripes in the center of this little guy. But after you have it fully decorated, of course this isn't fully decorated, what you're going to do is you're going to attach it. Let me put some adhesive on the back side. And I'm going to attach it to a deeper color so that every place I've punched a hole, this deeper color will show through. Let me line this up like so and see how you have that extra color without having to do the drawing. It's really pretty easy. You could do the same thing with the second butterfly, add other details to this, and now it's time to marry them together and to create the sandwich where you have the thread coming out the top. So all I'm going to do is put adhesive on the back side of one of them. And you would actually want a lot more adhesive than that, but just to let you see how this builds, I'm going to just stop now just for time. And I'm going to go ahead and place thread right down the middle because I want them to hang straight. And then I'm going to just take and place the matching butterfly. The beauty of a die cut is it's going to align perfectly. Place this over the top, and I end up creating a butterfly that hangs. So you have a, a hanging butterfly, and of course the kids are going to have fun decorating all these butterflies. That's where the lesson comes in, especially if you're doing studying butterflies or metamorphosis. But in order to have them hang, you need to hang them, and the spiral is the simplest thing because you don't have to worry about balance. So I've die cut the spiral, and I've used this poster board that's actually two colors, and I'm going to take and I'm going to punch out of the very center a hole so that I have somewhere to place ribbon to hang the mobile. So I'll place a hole right in the middle and then I have just have taken some ribbon that I've knotted at one end and I'm going to poke this through from the back side or the front side. Depends if you want the yellow side to show or the blue side to show. It's up to you. I'm going to opt for the yellow side and see the knot is going to hold it in place there and then this is what it will be used to hang the mobile. Now in order to attach all of what will be the hanging butterflies, I just am going to take my small hole punch and punch holes along the trail of the spiral, poke the thread through, and then hold it in place with just a little piece of, I have all these different geometric colored stickers that work perfect for this, and that will hold it in place so that you now have this really cool mobile. Now this is butterflies, but you know, you can use a mobile for the study of any subject area if you want to. On the table, let me show you what I did for very beginning math. How cool is it? I've used, instead of the large spiral, I've used the extra large size, and I've used the punch dots to indicate the numbers from 1 to 10, and that's with the extra large, if I go back to the large size again for a special birthday, how cool is it to make just candles so that they hang from the spiral? This would be a very a unique birthday card that kids would probably really keep forever. You know, a spiral is the perfect vehicle for hanging everything from numbers to butterflies, and your students will likely display them for years to come. 